Uh, I invite you to, to stand as you are able for our opening hymn, I've Decided to Follow Jesus. Speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah.
prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and quietness within your towers. For my brethren and companions' sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. I was shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands, and make firm the feeble knees. <clears throat> Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway, a highway shall be there, and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveler, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come up on it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <laughs> the Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with their things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
reading from the letter to Ephesus. I therefore, the prison in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to the to which you have been called with all humanity and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one Baptist, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. 
Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Almighty Father, whose blessed Son before his passion prayed for his disciples that they might be, be one, as you and he are one, grant that your church, being bound together in love and obedience to you, may be united in one body by the one Spirit, that the world may believe in him whom you have sent, your Son Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, the source of eternal light, shed forth your unending day upon us who watch for you, that our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship on the morrow give your, you glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another your abounding grace may increase among us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for Leslie, during this time of grief for the loss of her loved one. We pray for Reverend Betsy. We pray for Mother Barnes, for parishes seeking a priest, we pray for safe travels for all of us. We pray, pray for Angelina, who's struggling with mental illness. For Vicki, dealing with COVID. For Mother Liz. For Sharon. For physical healing. We pray for improvement in all our health. We pray for Manny Morales, 38 year old, critical, with critical cancer. It has a poor diet prognosis. We pray for Ray. We pray for Lavi. We pray for David Burkhart. <coughs> We pray for health, strength, for no more addiction. We pray for healing for all of us and our loved ones. We pray for healing after loss. We pray for Jean's group in the nursing home. We pray for children as the school year ends. We pray for Fred, who has a herniated disc with exposed nerve. We pray for Carol <coughs> in Thanksgiving for Tim Wagner, who is a survivor. We pray for Ben who has stage four liver cancer for his health. We pray for the people of Ukraine. We pray for all those in nursing homes. We pray for baby Liam, for victims of domestic violence. We pray for Carol and Bill. We pray for strength and courage for the people of Ukraine. We pray for strength and courage for all of us gathered here today. Amen. Amen. Okay, closing him.